A court has this afternoon decided the outcome of that bitter battle over a substantial cash prize in Cape Breton. You'll remember four of the finalists for a $100,000 prize awarded by an automobile dealer claimed there was a verbal agreement among them to split the big prize five ways. But the winner didn't see it that way. CTV's Kyle Moore tonight on what the judge has decided. And the winner is... Darren and Kim Seymour. Darren and Kim Seymour. After weeks of waiting, Darren and Kim Seymour are $100,000 richer. A decision late this afternoon by Justice Frank Edwards on the controversial contest sided with the winners. Their lawyer, Candy McCarthy, says it was a stressful time for her clients. It's unfortunate that there was any confusion or her feelings to start. They're regretful of that, but uh, ultimately they're happy that the court was fair to them and that the decision went in their favor. The contest was part of this car dealership's 50th anniversary celebrations. The runner-ups claimed whoever won would split the money, meaning each finalist would receive $20,000 each. But the Seymours disagreed, and so did Justice Edwards. In his decision, he said the four plaintiffs had no chance of convincing the court of a contract and also ordered them to pay $1,200 in legal fees to the Seymours. The plaintiff's lawyer releasing this statement by email, saying we certainly felt Mrs. Seymour did have Mr. Seymour's authority by way of apparent or ostensible authority as he sent her to the draw to act on his behalf. However, Justice Edwards found she did not have his authority to bind him to the agreement, and our clients are disappointed with the outcome. What it really fell on was agency, and not so much whether or not the verbal agreement in, itself, in and of itself would have been binding. Justice Edwards also noted in his decision Darren Seymour who was not present at the draw, never agreed to share the prize and never authorized his wife to make such an arrangement. It isn't technically the end of this proceeding. Uh, the plaintiffs, if they choose to do so, can continue with the litigation and go beyond the injunction and ask that the case be heard on the merits. However, McCarthy feels the decision was clear from Justice Edwards that going forward wouldn't be prudent. But the plaintiff's lawyer says that option is still being considered. Kyle Moore, CTV News, Sydney.